let me show you guys all the parts that we picked up yesterday. We got a new vent piece right here because my vent right there is broken. We got a new OEM clock. We have the three gauges where that clock sits right now. Pretty sure two of them don't work and the one that does work is super annoying. If we do end up running gauges in this car eventually, I'm definitely gonna keep that pod. I like the pod and just go with AEM gauges, not the pro sports. That's the plan at least. And then a few random little parts and pieces to put the stock oil cooler back on. Some seat bolts because as you guys know, those seat bolts were missing. And then the main point of today is to get this thing a little lower to the ground. So we picked up some really, really cheap springs on eBay. $100 shipped for these springs. They're made by Manzo. They're supposed to be a 1.5 inch drop, so it's nothing like crazy. It's not gonna be super, super low like I would want it to be if we were on a coilovers. They're not like slammed. Probably like the Evo 8 height. So not like so low to where you can't drive the car. These springs are 100 bucks, super cheap, well within our $2,000 budget that we have with this car right now. I'll have them linked down below. They fit 04 to 07 STIs, I believe. This is how the car looks right now. We threw these wheels on yesterday. They look really freaking nice. I like them a lot, but obviously that wheel gap is a little bit whack. First up today is we're gonna get this thing a little bit lower to the ground, inch and a half lower to the ground. I do wanna measure before and after to see if it actually is a true inch and a half or if it's more or if it's less. And then I wanna go drive the car, see how these springs ride. While we have the struts off, these rear struts clunk really bad and there is a very common fix. I've done it actually before. STI rear strut clunk fix. We are gonna be doing that today. And how you fix that is by packing the rear strut full of grease. Let's take a quick little before measurement, see what we're at. So the rear is at 26 and a quarter and the front is at 27 and a quarter. Let's go ahead and rip off these wheels and I'll show you how to get these struts off the car. So on the front, there are three nuts on the top hat. We gotta pull off two bolts on the lower strut mount, bolt for the ABS line, bolt for the brake line. Rear, same concept. We're gonna have to pop out the rear seat. And then there'll be three nuts up top right up there, a clip for the brake line and two bolts for the lower strut mount. So we got all of the struts off. Let's go ahead and pull the springs off the struts. You can use a spring compressor, but if you're a little bit sketchy like me, you don't need one. So all we're gonna do is take off this top hat nut. I believe it is a 17 millimeter. If you just throw an impact on that and kind of stand back, the spring will shoot off a little bit. Some springs shoot off more than others. I don't think these ones are gonna shoot all that far. Or not at all. I'm gonna pop open these new springs, make sure we are actually sent the right springs. And then we can do that rear strut clunk mod or the fix for it and get the new springs on, get it back on the ground and see how low she is. Nice. So the taller, skinnier ones are for the rear, the shorter, thicker ones are gonna be for the front. We can actually go ahead and just throw the front springs on right now. And then I think we may need to make a hardware run. We need to get some grease fittings for those rear struts. So yeah, let's do that. Let's throw the front springs on real quick. We can get the struts back on the car and then we'll just bring up the rear all at once.
So we got the first shot all together. Let me show you how everything sits because it is a little bit confusing sometimes. So the spring comes off. There's this little insulator thing on the bottom. If we pull off the top hat, there is this rubber spring seat underneath. Make sure you don't forget this piece here. And a piece that I used to always forget or not know how it went is this washer right here. That is gonna sit right on top of that. And the flat edge sits right against this spring seat, just like that. Don't forget that piece or else your car is not gonna turn whatsoever. All right, we got the front of the car all finished up, 100% good to go. Right now, I'm gonna run in and grab some grease Zurex or grease fittings for the rear struts. I know I have some laying around here somewhere because I bought a huge pack of them when I did my last STI rear struts. And of course, I cannot find them. So let's go jump with the Evo 10, get a cold start for the boys, head into Napa, grab these things, come back, and bang out the rear of this car. These here are the ones we went with, quarter 28 taper thread. That is the part number 715-2005 if you're gonna run to Napa. Four bucks at Napa, let's go get this thing done. Okay, so what we need to do to get the grease circuit in is completely pull apart the strut. There's a 14 millimeter nut on the bottom right there. We're gonna pop that nut off and this whole shaft is gonna slide on out. All right, now that we got the shuttle apart, we need to drill a hole. So we're gonna go three quarter inches down from this little water drain right here, drill the hole, tap it, get the grease circuit in there. We can reassemble the strut and then grease the strut. The cool thing about this mod is we're not gonna have to pull the struts off to grease these in the future. We can leave them on the car, crawl under there with a the grease gun and grease them up. All right, we got the grease circuit installed. Let's give it a quick cleaning with brake cleaner and we can get it all back together, get that bottom nut on and see how good a grease circ works. The car is all finished up. Let's go ahead and get it off the jack stands and see how low it sits. Well, it appears that it's 
about the same height. I don't know if that was the inch and a half drop. I know it does have to settle. They always settle a little bit, especially new springs. Settle at most I've ever seen is like a half inch. Let's go ahead and measure it and see what happens. The same thing happened on Bobby's Evo. We went from Ibox to like Megan's and the Megan's were supposed to be an inch lower and it wasn't any lower. We're at 26 right now in the rear and in the front, I forget what it was before, but we are at 26 in the front. I think what I'm gonna do right now is torque down the lug nuts and go drive the car. If this thing doesn't settle, I don't, I'll have it on the screen what it was before, I don't really remember, but if it doesn't settle, at least another inch. If it doesn't settle at minimum another inch, I am going to probably pull these springs off, return them, and pick up a cheap set of coilovers for the car. So as of right now, I don't have any front seats in here. I pulled them out to pressure wash them and gonna go ahead and swap those out for stock STI seats. They're out there drying right now, completely soaked. So the seat of choice today is gonna have to be this good old five gallon bucket. I think this bucket is a little bit tall, but it should do the trick to get some miles on this car and hopefully it'll settle a little bit. I don't know, I guess it's a tiny bit lower. Not really all that much lower, but let's give it a week. I'm gonna say let's give it a week. If it doesn't drop a little bit more in a week, we're gonna be, we're gonna have to go with coilers for sure on this thing. That is way too high. All right, let's make our way back to the shop. It's really hard to drive. <sighs> Sitting on this bucket. So I don't really think I should be driving all that much, but let's head back. I do have a factory steering wheel, clock spring and airbag to throw back in this thing because the one in here right now, it's not really my style. I'm not gonna lie though guys, I feel like they do ride pretty good. It's really hard to tell with our badass seat that we got right now, but I feel like they ride not much different than factory. Definitely a little bit more stiff, but I don't, like I said, it's really hard to tell when you're sitting on a freaking five gallon bucket. Well, since that didn't really go as planned, I'm going to take a photo real quick for like the thumbnail or something. And then in Photoshop, I'm just gonna slam this car and see how good it'll look when she's actually at the proper height that I think it should be at. Let's give her another quick measurement, see how much it settled. Okay, it went down like three eighths of an inch, I would say, from when we left in the rear. Yeah, on that little drive we just went on, it went maybe a quarter to three eighths of an inch. Ideally though, I would want this car at least a whole inch lower. If it could be that height right there on this car, I think that would look sick. All right guys, let's go ahead and move on with the next project of the day, which is swapping out this steering wheel right here for the OEM STI steering wheel. So we have a steering wheel, we have the clock spring, and we have the factory airbag. And of course, for some reason, the airbag doesn't even fit the steering wheel. If I remember correctly, this bag was from an 04 STI. This wheel's off an 06. I figured they'd all be the same, but it's looking like this is not gonna work. This is definitely not gonna work. Damn it. <sighs> All right. Well guys, as of today, there's nothing else we can really do to the STI. I don't want to start other projects on the car until the stuff that we're currently doing is finished up. For example, I don't want to start the paint correction right now because I know there's no way that we'd be able to finish it today. I really want to get this interior finished up. So as soon as we can get those seats swapped out, pull our bucket out of here, get the STI seats in here, find an 06 STI airbag, we can get the OEM wheel back in here. I did go ahead and order the brackets for the radio. So those should come in soon. And then we can actually put some miles on this car, see if it'll drop down a little bit more, but I'm already kind of persuading myself and convincing myself that we should probably do some coilovers on the car. With all that being said though, if anyone needs an 04 STI airbag, or if they have an 06 and they need an 04 and they want to swap, something along those lines, shoot me a message on Instagram. I did just go back and check the footage. The rear is 26 and a quarter to start, front was 27 and a quarter. So we're about a half inch lower in the back, maybe three quarter inches in the lower in the back from when we started. Front, 
27 and a quarter. Front is about an inch and a half lower, which is what the spring said they would do. So if it's already dropped an inch and a half in the front and maybe three quarters to an inch in the rear and we're not happy with it, we are gonna have to do some coilovers on the car, which isn't a big deal. So if I can find something that is reasonably cheap and I think are gonna be decent, I'll definitely go ahead, order those up and we can get those installed get this car sitting at just a little bit lower, probably half inch lower in the rear, about an inch lower in the front. And I think that would be a decent height for the car. Peace out guys. I'll see you tomorrow.